Hollywood Girls. Um, I have my new phone, and I don't know why it looks darker, but um, I don't care. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share with you, I'm so excited, um, just reading through the Gospels, and remember my intent was to get to know Jesus more, and um, I'm just so struck, again, by Jesus as the healer, and as someone who has experienced his divine healing, um, I, you know, there was, I'm not going to go into the testimonies of it, but with one of my children's birth, I nearly died, and my daughter nearly died, um, and I was uh, literally watching what was going on with my body as my blood pressure had totally plummeted. Um, the baby's heart rate was gone, and um, anyway, she came out healthy and pink, and I recovered, and so there's there's that instance, there's a uh, time when my little boy was so, so sick and he was lying on our bedroom floor and we didn't know what to do and we were seriously considering calling um, an ambulance and we all laid hands on him and prayed for him and he fell asleep and we just kind of sat there waiting and about two hours later he woke up with all the color back in his skin, perfectly fine, wondering why we were all sitting there looking at him and he was so ashen. I mean, it, it was just a scary, scary thing and he woke up. Um, perfectly fine, not a sign of his sickness. And so that was a huge thing for our family to experience. And then, of course, there was the huge, huge time where I was so, so sick, literally sick in bed for 10 months. It had been building for years, but um, sick for 10 months um, and went to bed sick one day and woke up healed the next. And it's a long, glorious, glorious story that I will certainly tell sometime. But um, so I have experienced his healing Um I don't think, except for our little boy Elijah, I don't think ever once was any of the healings that I experienced um, an immediate, uh, somebody prayed for me and bam, I was healed and everything was gone. Um, usually there was a long journey involved in it and I don't understand why um, if Jesus is the healer and he's the same yesterday and today and forever and all these um, verses talk about his healing, why we just don't pray for somebody and they don't get healed, I don't understand that. Um, but I'm not going to focus on what I don't understand. I'm going to focus on what I see and what I see in scripture, especially in these last few chapters, is that Jesus healed all that came to him, all that were oppressed of the devil. Um, everyone that was brought to him. I mean, just in these few, um, chapters, we have the leper that was healed, the centurion servant, Peter's mother-in-law, um, the man with palsy, the ruler's daughter, the woman with the issue of blood, which I just love that story. Um, the two blind men, and I noticed that um, interwoven here was the one time where he said, As thou hast believed, be it done unto you, and according to your faith, be it done unto you. So I don't want to put some big works on us, like if I have enough faith, then I'll be healed. If I have enough faith, then my child will be healed. I'm not saying that, but I'm just encouraging us to... Um, take God's word for what it is and what it says. And uh, Jesus is our healer. All right, ladies, he's our healer emotionally and physically and mentally and spiritually. Um, I can't even recount all of the emotional, mental healings um, that he's done in my heart. And I know he's done in yours too. So I just wanted to encourage you today to look to him as your healer, whatever it is you're struggling with, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, <coughs> excuse me, mental struggles, whatever it is you're going through, cry out to him. Don't stop. Be persistent like that one with the issue of blood and press through. Um, he's our healer, ladies. All right. So um, change what you think and what you believe. And just make one, I believe, you know, I believe um, Jesus is my healer. Whatever you whatever you need, um, I believe he is my freedom from fear. Um, what, whatever, whatever, just choose one, I believe today. And I want you to focus on that, okay? All right, have a great day, ladies. I hope you're enjoying um, reading the Gospels. And for those of you who are doing it and just getting to know our Savior even more, it's just so cool to me how this is coming alive um, I don't know how many times I've read through the Gospels, but I just am loving seeing Jesus uh, in this new light. So um, have a fantastic day, and I'm praying for you.